Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you some lipsticks that would go along with those eyeshadow palettes that I shared with you yesterday. So they are lipsticks with a more autumnal theme and again I will show you the less expensive lipsticks and then move up to the more expensive. So to start with I have a Kiko Stylo and this is number 13. This is absolutely gorgeous. It really is a, a fantastic lipstick because it works like a lipstick and then it dries down to a matte lipstick as well. So it really is a pretty colour. So that's number 13. Then I move on to, well I'm staying with Kiko but I'm moving on to a regular lipstick now. So it looks like that, it's from their one of their newer ranges and it's called the Gossamer Emotion and this is shade 105 so this lipstick you just pop the button on the top you press the button on the top it pops out it is just like a regular lipstick but it is more of a matte lipstick so that one looks like that so again it's a rich burgundy it's like a burgundy brown shade, really, really pretty, lasts a long time. I mean, the first one lasts all day. And also this has got a gorgeous scent to it as well, uh, like a sweet vanilla, vanilla scent. The next one is from the same brand, Kiko. So the similar range, but this one is called Glossy Dream and it's number two, I think it's 204. And again, it's one of the ones that you just pop the button and then, um, or press the button again, and it pops out. And uh, again, it's more of that shade. Now, whereas that one was more matte, this is more glossy. So it's not quite as opaque as that one there. So obviously, if you didn't want a matte lipstick look, you could go for this one, and it would give you a more sheer, glossy finish. The next ones are from MAC and I have four of these to show you and the first one is Twig. I absolutely love this, so of course it's the MAC regular lipstick, so it's Twig and it looks like that. So that's Twig. Then we move on to Cherish, which is more of a brown tone. Let me just say Twig was a satin, and then Cherish is also a satin. So that one is Cherish, so you can see that it's more of a nude brown shade. The next one is called Whirl, and that is a matte shade. So that's what uh, Whirl looks like. I absolutely love this. So that's Whirl. Then the last one from MAC is called, I think it's Mir. Or Mare, M E H R, that's also a matte and it looks like that. So that's Mare, or yeah, Mare, Mare. And then the next two are from Urban Decay, these are the new Urban Decay lipsticks, and the first one is a cream called Crisis. So they look like that. And this is Crisis. So that one is Crisis there. And then the next one I have from Urban Decay is called Amulet and this is a metallized finish. So that's what Amulet looks like. You can see that it is frosted from that lipstick. 
Now, although it does say that they're metallized, these are very, very wearable. This is an absolutely gorgeous shade. So that's Amulet. And then the last two I wanted to show you are from Kat Von D. So this one is Lolita. And obviously this is a liquid lipstick, the only two li liquid lipsticks I'm showing. Now I don't know if uh, the Kat Von D Lolita has been updated because everybody, everybody who swatches this from a little while ago or from some time ago says that this is a pinky brown. Now when I put this on my lips it does not look like a pinky bat brown, it looks like a red brown or a brick brown and I can't see where the pink brown is although it does swatch on a lot of people like a pink brown but you can see there it is a very very dark shade so I was a little bit disappointed with that shade because it really does look very deep now Lolita 2 I've also got I wanted to show that show you that because obviously it is deep and it is a lovely color for autumn um, going back to Lolita but it is just very dark and I just wanted to express something from what I was expecting. So I expected this to be a pink brown. To me, it is not a pink brown. It is more of a red brown. So I didn't know if the formulation had actually been changed. But, but Lolita 2, I absolutely love. It is a gorgeous, uh, like a tan brown, more of a, an orange brown base. And this is very, very pretty, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, these two shades last and last and last. I love them, but I expected Lolita, like I say, to be a more of a pink brown. So you can see from all of those shades, they are very autumnal inspired. And I thought that would give you some inspiration perhaps to um, find, you know, the autumnal shades in your makeup yeah your makeup collection but those are really will work very well you know with the palettes that I showed yesterday so I hope like I say that inspired you and uh, thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed that and uh, thank you very much for watching and obviously subscribe if you haven't already done so thank you very much bye